This is a short video about the technique of repeated squaring. So for example, if we wanted to compute 2 to the 16 mod 101, we would have to multiply 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2, we'd write that out 16 times, we'd make 15 multiplications, mod 101. By using the repeated squaring technique, we can reduce the number of multiplications that we would have to make. And in this case, it would just take four multiplications. As the numbers got larger, then the number of multiplications we need, then the savings would be greater. So before we do a numerical example, I just want to recall something about calculating with mod, with the modulo, with modulo operator. So for example, if we want to calculate A1 times A2 mod M, And we already know what A1 mod, mod M is equal to. It's equal to R1. And we also know what A2 mod M is equal to. Then our calculation is much simplified because we find that this is equal to A1, A2 mod M is actually equal to R1, R2, mod M. So in the case when we're multiplying two numbers, mod M, and we already know the intermediate results, then we can use that to simplify our calculation. And we're going to use this in the following example. Our problem is find 2 to the 16, mod 101. And we're going to write in the corner what we just did in the previous slide. A1, A2 mod M is equal to R1, R2 mod M. So we start. 2 to the 1 mod 101 equals 2 mod 101 equals 2. And this is a technique of repeated squaring. So we take that number in front of mod 101 and we square it each time. So we, had, we started off with 2. Now we square that. Two to, 2 to the 2 mod 101. That's equal to 4. We square again. 2 to the 2 to the 2 mod 101, that's 4 squared mod 101, is equal to uh, 16. We square one more time. 2 to the 2 to the 2 mod 101 is 2 to the 8 mod 101, equals 2 to the 4 to the 2 mod 101. We calculate that, and we get 54. Now we square again. So 2 to the 8 squared mod 101 equals 2 to the 8 times 2 to the 8 mod 101. And here we notice that we have a case where we're multiplying two numbers, 2 to the 8 times 2 to the 8 mod 101, when we already know what the result of 2 to the 8 mod 101 is equal to. So this 2 to the 8, the first 2 to the 8 is A1, the second 2 to the 8 is A2, mod 101, and we know in this case that we can say A1, A2, mod 101 is equal to R1, R2, mod 101. We have the result of 2 to the 8, mod 101, so we use that. It's 54. So we replace 2 to the 8 times 2 to the 8 mod 101, and we say 54 times 54 mod 101. And we calculate that out, and that's 18. Uh, that's 88. Now, where I've ticked in red, those are the number of multiplications that we've had to make. It's just four multiplications. So to find 2 to the 16 mod 101, it took just 4 multiplications instead of 15 multiplications. So that's quite a savings. So thank you for listening.